From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Friday, October 6, 2023. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. Rap City Police are searching for the suspect who held up a casino on West Main Street early Wednesday morning. The suspect entered the 777 Casino, wielding a knife, demanding money from the clerk on duty. The employee complied, and the suspect fled north from the scene. Witnesses describe him as approximately 5 feet 4 inches tall, wearing a red, white, and blue mask with a gray sweatshirt and dark pants. No one was injured in the holdup. South Dakota is going to receive a share of a multi-million dollar settlement. Amy Rose explains. South Dakota will receive its share of a $495 million multi-state settlement with a software company involved in a 2020 data breach. Attorney General Marty Jackley says the state will receive almost $372,000. The lawsuit was brought by 49 states that sued software company BlackBod for exposing millions of consumers' personal and financial information throughout the United States. BlackBod provides software to nonprofit organizations including charities, higher education institutions, K-12 schools, and healthcare organizations. The South Dakota Board of Regents is proposing adding a civics literacy requirement to its academic curriculum. The goal is to empower students to take part in the democratic process. The fiscal year 2025 System Center for Civic Engagement Budget Request serves as the cornerstone for the programming and engagement envisioned for the civics literacy requirement. Officials say they're working to develop the program without passing the cost on to students. In national and international news, former President Donald Trump is officially backing Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio, the House Judiciary Committee chairman and longtime Trump defender, to succeed Kevin McCarthy as House Speaker. Trump wrote on his Truth Social site shortly after midnight on Friday, Congressman Jim Jordan has been a star long before making his very successful journey to Washington, D.C., representing Ohio's 4th Congressional District. And he added that Jordan will be a great Speaker of the House and has my complete and total endorsement. The 2023 Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded. Amy Rose has the story. Imprisoned Iranian activist Narjis Mohammadi has won the Nobel Peace Prize. She has campaigned for women's rights, democracy, and against the death penalty in Iran for years. The 51-year-old has kept up her activism despite numerous arrests. She has remained a leading light for nationwide, women-led protests sparked by the death last year of a 22-year-old woman in police custody. Those demonstrations grew into one of the most intense challenges ever in Iran's theocratic government. The chair of the Norwegian Nobel Committee announced the prize Friday in Oslo. She said it was a recognition of the work of a whole movement in Iran. Mohammadi is the 19th woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize and the second Iranian woman. A Russian missile attack in Ukraine has killed a 10-year-old boy and his grandmother. The strike Friday in the northeastern city of Kharkiv came a day after a strike in the same region killed at least 51 civilians in one of the deadliest attacks in the war in months. The strike also injured an 11-month-old child. A total of 28 people were wounded in the attack. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Sunny and windy with a high of 53, low tonight, 33. Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be pleasant with sunshine and highs in the upper 60s to low 70s. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, October 6, 2023. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jaquess. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great weekend.